you for joining in. I am Siddhi Jain from the Communication Management Batch of 22. I will be your host for this seminar. We gathered here for a live interaction with a student from Batch of 2021, Shreya Chaudhary. Been on a student exchange program in Germany for one whole semester, Shreya has garnered a vast portfolio of industry exposure. Her internship with WWF India, Yes Bank, the United Nations, and TBWA India has helped add many feathers to her cap. She's also a member of the SCMC editorial board and is here to share with us some major learnings and experiences she had during her exchange program. Thank you so much, Shreya, for joining in for this webinar. A quick note for the participants. Please note down your questions in the Q&A section below, and we will get back to them at the end of the session. Hi, Shreya. How are you? Hi, Siddhi. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm looking forward to sharing my experiences today. Okay, starting off with that, a very simple question. You are about to graduate soon. How does it feel? Can you share a bit with, about your journey at SCMC? Um, so I'm really looking forward to graduating, of course, and seeing what the world has in store for me. Uh, that being said, there will be so many memories at SCMC that I will look back on fondly. Uh, the classic movie screening sessions, the field trips like the Siaga trek in Panchkani, almost every interactions that I had with professors, uh, various college events like Vividya, Madhyam. Uh, the process of choosing specializations, applying for internships, and, you know, even small things like just hanging out uh, with my friends and roommates, doing assignments together. There's honestly a lot that I'm going to miss. Um, it's a college experience worth remembering. You've surely made us miss all those moments. Um, you were part of the student exchange program for one whole semester in Germany. Um, what did you do to apply? How did you get selected? Um, yes, I had the opportunity to spend a semester at a university called DHPW in Ravensburg, which is a town in Germany. Uh, so the process went a little bit like this. Initially, we received mails informing us of the exchange program. And, you know, I basically jumped at the opportunity to apply. Uh, we had to reply on the same thread with our CV. And uh, I'm not too sure, but I think we also had to include our mark sheets. I even remember that most of us like made a portfolio showcasing our work just to give like our overall profile a boost. Uh, five of us were then shortlisted. Uh, after that, we had to go through an interview round with some of the SIU professors. You know, this was the part that I was a little nervous about because everyone that had been shortlisted was like extremely bright and more than capable of representing SCMC in Germany. Um, ultimately, all five of us were selected. Uh, four of us for Germany and one person got selected for Spain. Oh, that's amazing. I don't think anybody else would not jump at an opportunity like this. So once you were in Germany, how was your overall experience? What was it like to be on your own in a new country? Take us through the adjusting process. Mm, okay, there was a lot. I, I just don't know where to begin. Oh God, I'll try to keep it short. So this was definitely one of the most eye-opening and best experiences of my life. Uh, you know how we have these ideas about what different countries are like, and I'm going to say that our knowledge of the world really falls short. Uh, talking about German people in specific, they have a really unique lifestyle. They are very straightforward, but uh, you know, still some of the most helpful people I've met. I'll just tell you like a small incident that happened. Um, so I actually got onto the wrong bus during a commute from like our dorms to the college. And there was a local bus driver. So uh, I, I'm definitely not fluent in German. I just know a little bit. So in my broken German, I was trying to explain the situation to him. And I was not sure if he understood or not, because you know, uh, even he wasn't very fluent in English. So I was really nervous uh, about what was going to happen. But you know, he was kind enough to just drop me to my stop. Like he uh, rerouted the bus after going to the last stop and he dropped me to my original stop. And, you know, that I was really grateful for that. Um, you know, there were also a lot of times when we were offered help when we didn't even ask. Um, German people are also like really punctual and disciplined. 
I think there's a lot that's worth learning from them. They are very particular about a lot of things, very detail oriented. Um, overall, for the exchange program, it's a very interesting experience. Like uh, you'll have to shop at German grocery stores. You'll have to cook your own food. You'll get to stay with roommates from all over the world. Uh, I was actually sharing my apartment with girls from France, Russia, and Korea. We got to closely mingle with people from a lot of different countries. Uh, there were also people from Italy, Mexico, and Serbia too. Uh, so your exposure is like not just going to be limited to German culture. And you know, an interesting thing is that you realize a lot of things that are distinct to Indian culture as well. Like you know, you will find that you know, the Indians do certain things that nobody else does. So that's definitely something fun. Okay, but I can't not ask. While you were in Germany, what is the one thing you miss the most about SCMC? Hmm. So you know, my friends were posting stories on Instagram and all, and I was looking at those. They're going to all the places that we usually go to. They're going going to these restaurants and movies. They're doing all the stuff that you know I'm used to doing with them. They're chilling, doing fun stuff, hanging out. They're spending time with each other, and you can't be a part of that for one semester. So yeah, I did miss their company during that period. Uh, also, I was a bit sad about missing out on some of the subjects like creative writing and ad copy. Like I really liked those subjects, and uh, that was the semester that I had to go abroad during. Uh, we had to get, you know, we used to get those mails for the assignments and all. So I knew what was going on. Uh, like I was aware that what I was gaining on the other side was really massive, but you know, there's a little bit of FOMO still. Um, you spoke a little bit about the subjects. So was it easy to get into the groove of subjects over there? Like being only for a period of one semester, how does one make the most of that time? So I was studying business administration in Germany. Uh, being a Marcom student, which is like a marketing communication student, I found that there were actually a lot of overlaps. Uh, I was also learning German, so that was fun. Um, their system is actually a little bit different than ours, um, specifically different to SCMC. Uh, we didn't have like one or two hour lectures over there. Uh, for a lot of courses, there were like long lectures, like up to four to five hours, and each course got done in just like a week. So we had a lot of free time afterwards. Also, they have just one exam at the end for each subject, like no assignments and stuff. Just one exam, like an essay or a presentation for each subject. Uh, so we found it less challenging than SCMC in some ways. Uh, and like because we were left with so much free time after our lectures, we got to travel so much. A fun thing about Europe is that all the places are really nearby, like max two to uh, two to four hours away by bus or train, like other countries. So we got to travel to uh, Switzerland, Prague, Vienna, and other cities in and around Germany too. Um, so for traveling around Ravensburg, which is the city where the university was, they give you the student ticket. It's like a free ticket that they give to all the university students, and you can use that to essentially travel all of South Germany for free. So we got to do that too. Okay, all of this sounds really tempting, but of course, all our travel plans are on hold. Ah uh, yes. Um, coming back to you know, you having the experience that you mentioned you had, would you recommend future students to partake in this exchange program? Yes, absolutely. It's like a once in a lifetime experience. Uh, you know, the sort of world view you'll gain is certainly going to give you an edge in many aspects of your life and your career. Uh, you'll know a lot more about cultures across the world, what it's like to live in a completely different environment. And then there's the additional perk of learning under a different education system. And there were really good professors. So there's a lot that you can actually learn from there. Uh, you'll have a lot of freedom to choose the subjects that you want at the German university. So, you know, you can customize it to yourself, which is an opportunity I feel like we don't always get. And the amount of exposure you get overall is huge. You'll know so much about the world. It'll actually make you like a very confident and independent person too. You'll not only grow as a person, but you'll also have, you know, one of the most memorable experiences of your life. And if you do go for this exchange program, please travel as much as you can. Uh, it's tough to come across an opportunity like this where you can just pick up your backpack and travel across Europe with your friends. Like borders are no longer an issue. <laughs> If an exchange opportunity is coming through, I am taking it up. <laughs>
<laughs> but um, so you have attended both on campus classes as well as virtual classes at SCMC. Do you think the virtual shift affected your learning? How would you compare the two? Um, personally, I felt like I learned better during the on campus classes. Uh, in class, you have the opportunity to discuss the subject with your friends. And I feel like that was something that really used to help uh, me gather a betting, better understanding of what was being taught. So yeah, I do prefer on-campus classes. And you know, uh, stuff like screenings, like movie screenings are a really big part of SCMC. So those are definitely more enjoyable on campus. We have like these multiplex like rooms. So yeah, definitely. I miss those a lot. I mean, if you're if you want to stay in touch with your friends during classes and all, I mean, there is WhatsApp and all, but I feel like it's just not the same thing when you're sitting together in a classroom, interacting with the professor and talking to your friends. Um, that being said, I feel like there are advantages and disadvantages to both. For our online classes, I mean, you kind of have the luxury to just wake up like 10 minutes before the lecture. I know we are all guilty of that. Um, you can also spend more time with your family uh, if you're not a localite. So yeah, you'll be at home and learning in the comfort of your own home. Uh, but despite that, I would have still liked to come back to campus before graduating. So uh, because I was in Germany for my fourth sem, I basically never got to come back on campus because of the pandemic for the last three semesters of my college. So like half of my college year was spent online. Um, that was really unfortunate. And I think overall, our whole batch is like really upset that we won't be able to reunite before graduating. I mean, graduating online is not something that any of us have envisioned. And we all look forward to like a fair and all. But like, thanks to juniors, you guys are doing like really cute stuff for us. Uh, we're just trying our best to make the most of what we have now. What kind of uh, experience should the aspirants look forward to, you know, when they're applying at SCMC? Oh God, okay. So in SCMC, you will have so many diverse experiences. I mean, you'll meet amazing people like your classmates. Each of them will have such unique talents. You know, they will inspire and motivate you in so many ways. In, and the professors too. Like, you know, you get to identify your passion and you develop a powerful skill set. Uh, you know, SCMC has a, a very positive culture. And you'll get a lot of freedom to express your thoughts. You'll get a lot of opportunities to showcase your work and your talent. Uh, when you graduate and you walk out into the real world, which is the media industry for most of us, you'll have the sense of accomplishment and you'll feel really prepared. Like you'll have the tools that you need in your hand to excel in your career. SCMC will provide you with a lot of knowledge and skills. And, you know, fun times are guaranteed. There are a lot of events, you know. If you like writing, then there are competitions for writing. If you like singing, if you like dancing, you will have platforms to showcase all of that. Um, you will build friendships that will last a lifetime. You know, those of you who will be staying in hostels and all, you know, it's like a family away from a family, a home away from home. Uh, and, you know, even small things like, you know, working on certain assignments will leave you with unforgettable memories. Like, you know, even as I'm saying this, I'm thinking of one of the assignments I had, which was like a walk swap we had to go and interview people on the streets for one of the assignments. And, you know, we got some iconic answers. I still look at that video and laugh sometimes. So I think, you know, those are unforgettable. Like you, you won't get this college experience elsewhere. That is an assignment that I would like to take up, of course. So it was definitely very interesting to, you know, have this conversation with you. We have a few attendees that have asked a few questions. So I'll just bring them up to you. Sure thing. Was Germany a choice you picked or how did you pick the country? So the options that we initially got, uh, I, if I remember correctly, it was Germany, London and Australia. So personally, I felt like the course that was being offered by the German university as well, um, you know, as a, a few other things to yeah. consider. So I felt like Germany was the best call for me because they were offering business administration and um, that is a course that I was particularly interested in. And Germany is a country also, I feel like there's a lot of, uh, you know, things that we don't know about Germany, or at least I felt like, you know, I still had to learn. So I chose Germany because I thought I would get a very interesting experience there. Um, there was also London and Australia, but uh, 
most of the people, I think most of our batch actually from our SCMC institution in particular chose Germany. One of the girls also ended up getting an offer to Spain. So she took Spain. Okay, that's, yeah. How was your experience as an editorial board member being in SCMC? Oh, so if I'm being very Honest, then, um, I there needs then there seems to be some network issue. We apologize for the delay. Please give us two minutes. Okay, am I, am I back? Yes, yes. I'm so you. sorry, we just lost power. I just connected to my um, hotspot here. We have a generator, so my dad just turned that on. So <laughs> we'll be back on Wi-Fi in like two seconds. That's that's completely okay. This is what we deal with living in the virtual space. Yes, I really <laughs> yeah. apologize for this. It's okay. Yeah. So coming to the question again, um, mm -hmm. your experience as an editorial board member. That's right. I was... Uh, narrating a particular thing that I really enjoy. So we have an event called ITS, which is like uh, kind of like the Olympics of SCMC, like a lot of sports events. Um, so I got to be on field. And, you know, for those of you who are particularly interested in the journalism profession, this is a really cool experience. Like you get to be on field, recording everything. And, you know, you essentially get to translate that into like really interesting and interactive articles. Like, you know, you're basically reporting it, but you can really showcase your skills in how well and how you know engagingly you can report something. So yeah, the editorial board is a great experience for that. Uh, even if you just enjoy writing and you know writing articles, if you if you're uh, like interested in being a freelance writer, this is a great experience for you. Wow, we really miss having these opportunities as of now. Um, as I mentioned before, you actually in turned at the United Nations. I yeah. would love to know more about that. So um, in particular, I was interning with the United Nations Development Program. They have an uh, initiative under them that's called United Nations Volunteers. So what they do is, uh, you know, you have these sustainable development goals and their aim is to start uh, like, you know, events like localized events for each of these SDGs to promote them. Uh, so like, you know, talking with a few motivational people, sort of events like that. So of course, this was before the pandemic. So I got to work on an event in collaboration with the State Bank of India. It is a, a part of their like uh, corporate social responsibility. And we were talking about education, um, like for girls and for uh, people with disabilities. And we had a lot of, uh, you know, very uh, motivational speakers over there. Uh, there was a girl who had struggled with a lot of, uh, you know, opposition from her community as well as physical illness. And she finally was writing her 12 boards. So that was a lot of, uh, that was very good to know about all of that. And also there were a lot of fun events like photography. So basically my role as an intern was organizing these events at a local level. Like I was the Mumbai intern. So I was organizing these events along with um, United Nations volunteers uh, in Mumbai. Like I had to recruit other volunteers to come and participate in this. And I had to talk to these organizations like SBI too for these event collaborations. So kind of like you can say it was an event management internship along with the United Nations. 
Yeah, and that seems like an experience of a lifetime with all the important messages, you know, that were being put across. Another question that we have got here is in Germany was language a barrier? That's a really good question. So the thing is in the university everybody is fluent in English. Uh, our all of our classes were in English and the students are in uh, are English speaking too because like of course the whole class is in English and the professors were all fluent as well. The communication barrier that you might face is you know when you're talking to the locals and when you're trying to read all the road signs so over there you might face a little bit of an issue uh, for that it's honestly not something that uh, is very hard to overcome i actually knew a little bit german uh, as i went there because i had taken courses in the past uh, before you go you will know at least 2 to 3 months in advance so i would suggest that you download an app like duolingo and you know you can just uh, brush up on any kind of basic skills uh which will kind of at least will help you navigate and talk a little bit to the locals i think that in itself is a very interesting experience getting to talk to the locals so ravensburg has like this weekend market it's like a farmers market i was really excited to be there because you had like cheese from italy and like sparkling wine and all of that kind of fun stuff so yeah over there i think if you know a little bit of german it's very nice to be able to talk to the locals like i think you'll get a more authentic experience if you can speak a little bit and it's always better to be prepared of yes. course also another thing like uh, when you go to the university you can take a german course like i was taking like it will count as a part of your credits also so you know you will be able to learn german like within one month i think you will learn enough to be able to hold at least a, like a very basic conversation with a german person okay um another question that i would be taking up with one memory that you would take along from scmc now that's going to be an emotional ride i know okay like pointing out one memory is going to be really hard there are so many memories okay if i had to take away one thing it would be 501 screening sessions i think we watched a lot of iconic movies i think i mentioned this earlier during one of the questions but if i was to name drop a few we watched the godfather gone with the wind horror films like tumbar oh that was an iconic day like people were half of the batch was really enjoying themselves and half of them were really scared so we have like i think i said this before too we have these multiplex like rooms it's like you know you will get a movie theater experience those are completely soundproof and uh, air conditioned and like padded so you kind of feel like you're sitting in a movie theater and all of your attention will be exclusively on the movie it's like a larger than life experience you can say so yeah all those 501 sessions i don't think uh, i could have gotten this anywhere else and you know those movies are a part of your curriculum so you get to watch movies for uh, your course and you get to learn from them for a media student that is like a dream come true trust me so yeah definitely the 501 session favorite memory and i mean what would one give to you know have a movie session with friends even if you're freezing okay. in 501 yes even if you're freezing <laughs> yes it it can get cold yes but you know during winters it's actually warmer so like i used to go and sit in 501 to you know warm up i think it's one of the most loved classrooms for Absolutely. everybody at like, scmc yeah there is no scmc experience without 501 and 501. i genuinely hope that all the freshers you guys get to go back on campus because yeah the campus is a really big part of the experience you know even if you don't then of course you always have your classmates you still have those iconic screenings maybe on the screen of your own laptop but you know it's still a big deal it's a lot of fun Okay thank you so much Shreya for joining in and sharing your experiences with us it was an interesting session and i'm sure it gave us all a good framework for making the most of our college years i take this opportunity to also thank all the attendees for joining this session and we look forward to providing you with many more informative se- seminars in the future stay home stay safe thank you